Hi ladies and gents, guys and dolls, welcome back to the Janae Well Show. In this video, I just have a small um, clip of just motivation to encourage you that God has not forgotten about you. I know many times it can feel like things are moving and happening for other people and we can feel like, God, like, where are you in my story? Where are you in and what you're doing in my life right now? And I just want to encourage you, hold on one second, my dog is barking, so I'm going to close the door. Okay, so I'm going for a walk instead, but I just want to encourage you that God has you, God sees you, God knows your needs, and I know sometimes it can be very frustrating, And um, but what has, been hap what has been helping me is gratitude. Um, so you guys know I journal almost every day, um, and I like to write down three things that I'm grateful for. And this is one of the things that I learned in my positive psychology class um, as an undergrad, undergrad psychology student. Gratitude helps to shift your perspective. Gratitude helps to shift your focus to recognize and focus on the things that you do have. Father God, I'm thankful that I have arms and legs to dance and to praise you. Father God, I thank you that I have a voice to speak. Father God, I thank you that... I'm able to work, I'm, I have a car, I'm able to um, have a job and to sustain myself. And so I just start thanking God for everything. Father God, I thank you that I have a safe place to, to lay down at at night, that I don't have to worry about um, certain things. And I mean, really just shifting your focus on that. And I think sometimes it's easy for us to look at the things that we don't have or to murmur or to complain but the beautiful thing is focusing on what you do have and realizing that in due season, it's going to be yours. And if it hasn't happened for you yet, it could just be that God is still preparing you. It could just be that you, are, you still need some development and uh, maturation to get to that place. Because God is such a good father that he doesn't want to give us anything prematurely. He doesn't want to give us something that's going to be a curse instead of a blessing. So sometimes God will wait to his perfect timing. To us, it might seem slow, but he's outside of time. So I just want to encourage you, keep believing, keep praying, keep pressing, keep pushing through. And that's what I'm doing right now. I am pressing, I am pushing through. And no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're feeling, you have to understand the faithfulness of God and understand that He, in His perfect time, it's going to happen. So I want to encourage you, do not be anxious for anything, but with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, okay? All right, guys, so I'm not going to make this video long, but I just want to encourage you, Keep pressing, keep moving forward, and just know that God hasn't forgotten about you. He hasn't overlooked you. It might seem like it's happening for every everybody else, but just know that his timing is never late. His timing, you will see in the end while it will be worth the wait. Okay, guys, and stay encouraged. You know, I know God is moving in my life, and there are breakthroughs that's happening, and I'm just so... Um, full of gratitude and I try to rest in that place of of rest in the Lord because when we have rest in the Lord we don't have to worry about those things we don't have to worry about you know God how am I going to be able to pay my rent how am I going to be able to do this how am I going to be able to get to this job or this school God will order your steps because he's such a faithful God and he will provide where he guides okay so always remember to try to stay in the alignment of God because in the alignment of God there is safety there is coverage there is rest Dwell in the secret place of the Lord. Keep your eyes fixed on God. Don't look at your circumstances. Have joy even in the midst when your circumstances are not ideal. Have joy. Happiness is, is temporary, but joy is eternal. Unlock that joy that's inside of you from the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Spirit, and just watch how God is going to turn it all around. And in the end, you'll say, thank you, God. That waiting process did a good work in me. Okay, I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!